Alright, what's up guys, Nerset here. So I just came across this post that is a pretty big deal. If you just read the title, it says update to ranked for 2019. And just right off the title, you can tell it's gonna be pretty bad because everything Riot lays their hands on, it just gets obliterated and the rank system is very fine as it is right now. So let's see what they wanna do. I, I already read the post. But, but now let's go through it together and see what Riot wants to do to improve the rank system, right? There's always room for improvement on, on, and rank is no exception. There is room for improvement, I agree. But are you guys able to make improvement to a system that is already good and that doesn't really need any change? No. Of course, there is always room for improvement for anything in life. But if it's already fine, you don't touch it because there is gonna be a higher risk of you fucking it up. <laughs> like, come on, guys. So one of the less than awesome things we saw that hardcore players who played multiple positions weren't being recognized for their accomplishments by the system. What? What? Okay, so let's get let's get this straight. Be playing multiple positions doesn't make you a hardcore player. What makes you a hardcore player is the time and effort and dedication you invest into the game. And that's whether you play all five roles or fucking one trick pony. So th those are the little points that they wanna uh, base their changes on. So give clear feedback after each placement game. Not sure what that means. Surface a diverse set of challenges through the seasons. Diverse set of challenges, you mean gaining elo? That's pretty much the only challenge that should and is there, like, I don't understand. What do you want to make even bigger of a challenge? I, I get what they want to make as bigger as a challenge, but I'll get to that later, because it is technically going to be more challenging, but in such a bad and unsatisfying way, you you'll see what I'm talking about. Provide regular milestones and meaningful goals regardless of skill level. Regardless of skill level, god damn it. No, 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 no. This is to appeal to, to the freaking 49% silver population in the game. No. You have to get good and stand out. I think Riot should push the, the concept of standing out of all that mass of silver bronze players and get out of that elo because it's, ve it's very doable. Like, not regardless of skill level, being able to overcome your skill level, that's what should be the, the motivation. Not having rewards because you are silver. Being silver shouldn't give any rewards because you're, you're just average. You're not completely brain dead, because I think bronze 5, I don't know if bronze 5 players are even humans. <laughs> just kidding, but you know what I mean, like, it's pretty bad. So yeah, now let's get into the juicy stuff, okay? As you can see from this image, you want basically to give you five ranks, one rank for each position. Okay, let's take this for example, if you play top, you're gonna climb old four position. If you play jungle, you're climb with the silver four, etc. And you can already tell there's a very bad idea and you can kinda, just by looking at it, it looks like such a terrible idea. But let's see, why is it a, such a bad idea? Well, first of all, it's unsatisfying. You, you just wanna be recognized for one rank. Because regardless of your role, like after the laning phase, it's going to be all about decision making, game knowledge and mechanics. And that's completely dissociated of your um, lane or jungling mechanics. I guess mid to late game, you still, as the jungler for example, you still keep track of the objectives and y'all. And as a top laner, depending on your champion, you want to split or team fight. But mid to late game, this is basically irrelevant. Right, right off the bat, it's a terrible idea just because this game is not based off laning phase. And even though like positions like bot lane, you're forced to play ADC or support, mid and top, more diverse roles. So you can play assassins, mages, bruiser tanks, and jungle too. It's very um, uh, hard to define the skill level of a player based on that. But high chance of getting your primary position. Okay, so now I want to talk about something interesting because that's also one of the biggest reasons this is very bad. Well, first of all, what if 
Because right now, if you get autofill, let's, let, let's say I get autofill support, you know, I'm D50 LP or whatever, just an example. And if I get support and I still do a great job, you know, like I, I show off that I can actually play support at a decent level. And I manage to win the game with a respectable KDA and helping my team in the last stuff. Well, today I will get plus 20 LP, around 20-ish LP. Well, in that new system, you won't gain shit. Because my main roles are top and jungle. And um, uh, so if I get autofill, I, I will literally not gain LP for my peak rank goal. So it's gonna take twice the effort if you wanna play multiple roles. For example, I play top and jungle. So if I play both of, it, of these roles, it's gonna take twice the effort to bring those two roles at a good rank. So it's basically, instead of opening up to more roles, it's gonna force people to just one trick, one roll. And also one of the things that can also happen is people going to example the support role but then asking to their team if they wanna swap and just keep shitting on people. Like this this system is also very abusable because the only way people can tell your role is um, uh, by the role you get assigned in champ select and often people sw just swap roles. Like, it's such a bad and inconsistent system that can easily be just broke. Milestone and goals. The current design adds two new tiers? Wait, 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 so what does two new tiers mean? They wanna add like, fucking ruby and emerald division? I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> fucking ruby division holy shit jesus that's such a bad idea like why would you add two new tiers it's gonna make it even harder to close the gap between your your new roles it's like the worst idea in the universe holy shit okay rank border that, that's also one of the only good changes they want to make next season you're on unlock your rank border as soon as you finish your provisional game for a position You'll be able to see it grow and change as you climb the ladder. In addition, on the loading screen, the current design adds your live rank to your profile. Yeah, that absolutely makes sense because let's say last season you were diamond and now you're hard stuck gold tree. That's the case of one of my friends, for example. Well, in the mid season, nobody gives a shit about your border. If in the mid season you're platinum and you're you're playing with someone with no border or a silver border, you can just as you're you're still gonna assume that they're all pretty much the same level as you because you're matched with them like nobody cares if you know you, you got diamond in season 7 by abusing full AP Galio like nobody actually gives a shit in, in mid season 8 at the beginning of the season it kind of matters but after it no so yeah m making the board different for your current rank that's a good that's a really really good idea coming soon to a Q near you riot sap magic jeez fucking crazy Sap Magic heads up the team working on rank. His favorite type of shirt and meta is tank tops. Oh, I see. I see. So, so the guy who's proposing these terrible changes is a fan of tank tops, of, of the tank meta, of the very interactive, skill expressive, fun, and skill rewarding tank meta. Wow, fucking hell. Those kind of people should be fired, I swear. Looking at the comments, let's see. I don't really like the change because let's say a guy played mid only till he hit, for example, D2, then he decides to play top lane or bot and he's gonna face silver and gold play in this game. That's not really fair, isn't it? Yeah, it's not fair. And also, if you wanna swap roles, it's gonna take you so much effort to climb. Because climbing is gonna be split on five roles. So it encourages one tricking, but it's the opposite they want to do. Like it's actually restricting your playstyle to a to a crippling level. And also, by the way, this is the kind of things that Riot focus on. They focus on changing a very fine rank system. While the reason people are quitting League is not the rank system. It's because of balance changes and, and just like game changes from the inside. If they want to fix the problem of League of Legends, just fix the internal game. Not the rank system, because the system is fine. The game is not fine. As someone who can invest thousands of hours, I think this change hurts any change of climbing. For example, that's exactly what I said. Then my motivation to play is non-existent. I will work to one rank and five separate ranks. I agree. 
they're gonna force you to play twice, no, not twice, five times as more. Well, not five times, depending on how many roles you wanna play, but usually people have two main roles. So it's gonna basically force you to play twice as more. And if you get autofill, this game is basically gonna be irrelevant. Like, people are just gonna dodge even more if they're autofilled. Because it will not make any kind of progression whatsoever. The system is, is terrible. And what I wanted to say is that, yeah, this is what Riot are focused on. They're completely delusional if they think that's gonna do any good. Not only is their focus on parts of the game that are absolutely fine, but they wanna ruin them as well. Once they ruined the balance and still continuing to ruin it, they also want to ruin the other parts. I don't know if, if they're doing this purposely, honestly, because these people get paid. These people should be better in game design than me and the average Joe in the community, but no, this is terrible. So yeah, that was pretty much what I wanted to talk about. I mean, there's not much else to talk about, like, I could go through more comments, but I think I've gone pretty much through all the points, so, yeah, Riot is just going full retard again, it's kind of sad to see. This is not gonna make League great again, and if Riot doesn't get their shit straight together and continue to make terrible changes and don't listen to the community, well, the game is gonna keep dying and eventually run dead because if they keep pushing changes like that and destroy every single enjoyable part of the game and every satisfaction you get from it, like, it's eventually gonna die even if it has millions of people. I can't explain how they can push such bad changes. Don't they think twice before putting out those ideas? I really hope they don't make this live because, but I don't know. Like with Dynamic Q, for example, 90% of the community disagreed with it and they still implemented it for one year. It was garbage. I can't explain how they can do such things. Are they getting paid by Epic Games to fuck up their own game so that people switch to Fortnite? I have no idea, man. That's the only explanation. I have because I don't think these people are actually brain dead, but yeah, it's pretty sad <laughs> Because if they listen to their community this change is get getting thrown out of the window completely because it's terrible But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video So if you agree with anything that I said or think that I'm a, I'm a little too harsh Even though I don't think I am because I've been playing this game for I don't know how many times and seeing Riot trolling with it is just so unsatisfying and frustrating but yeah don't forget to drop a like and a sub if you want to see more of this content and yeah peace out guys see ya